Greetings pioneers, today we will be discussing oil products. While this video will focus on the production of rubber and plastic, it is impossible to completely separate the discussion of oil from discussion of power as well. Plastic and rubber production are first unlocked with the oil processing milestone in tier 5. These recipes will require using the new oil extractors to extract crude oil, then your new refineries to convert that crude oil into plastic or rubber. However, the default recipes only allow conversion of oil to plastic or rubber at a rate of 2 items per 3 units of oil. You will also need to process the heavy oil residue byproduct into something that can be automatically used or sunk. Initially, your only option will be petroleum coke which can be used for power generation in coal generators. However, once you unlock the petroleum power, Milestone you can turn that heavy oil residue into fuel which requires fewer machines and offers a larger net power gain. Using these default recipes, your rate of plastic or rubber production is low but the byproducts are capable of generating more power than the system consumes which will alleviate your power issues until you gain access to more efficient alternate recipes. This basic setup is fully sufficient to complete project assembly and is the simplest method to produce plastic or rubber. Key recipes that will increase your efficiency are the diluted fuel or diluted package fuel recipes. These will allow you to add water to your heavy oil residue to gain more than twice as much fuel as a result. This works because Fixit Incorporated has developed proprietary homeopathic fuel production. Homeopathy is a subtype of pseudoscience that claims a substance becomes more powerful and more potent the more diluted it becomes. This ridiculous concept has been disproven multiple times via both empirical science and philosophy but Fixit scientists made a logical exception for our Fixit Incorporated proprietary fuel production lines. Other alternate recipes required to attain maximum crude oil efficiency are the recycled rubber, recycled plastic, residual rubber, and heavy oil residue alternate recipes. By combining all of these recipes together, we can increase our crude oil usage efficiency by 350%. Begin by using the heavy oil residue alternate recipe to convert crude oil into heavy oil residue with a polymer resin byproduct. The polymer resin will be combined with water to produce rubber via the residual rubber alternate recipe and the heavy oil residue will be combined with water to produce fuel via the diluted fuel alternate recipe. From there, the fuel and rubber can be fed into a loop of recycled rubber and recycled plastic refineries. The output of each refinery will prioritize supplying the ingredients needed for the other type and then the excess can flow downstream for your use. The ratios of production do not allow for clean numbers but the numbers on screen can be linearly scaled for any size production goal. This maximally efficient design is capable of producing 3 rubber or plastic per cubic meter of crude oil extracted with zero byproducts. However, it comes with the downside of significantly larger power usage than the default recipes and has no supplementary power byproduct. Note, for mid-tier power production, the heavy oil residue and diluted fuel recipes can be used to produce approximately 20 gigawatts of power from a single pure crude oil node. Four or five pure nodes will likely provide enough power for the Pioneer to complete Phase 5 and save the day. This Pioneer used approximately 95 gigawatts of power to save all of the kittens and puppies on Earth that rely on her. Alternatively, these systems can be used to produce packaged fuel which can be sent for use in jetpacks, trucks, or drones. With these recipes and logistics planned, we shall now use them to produce oil rigs dedicated to producing 1. Rubber, 2. Plastic, and 3. Packaged fuel. Each of the systems displayed on your screen take in 600 cubic meters of crude oil and 2,000 cubic meters of water to produce 1,800 rubber, 1,800 plastic, or 1,200 packaged fuel per minute. Next, we shall create a facade of compliance to prevent unnecessary economic inefficiencies with the terrain auditing bodies. Our first step in preparation for a terrain United States notified body audit is the monetary isolation of these oil production behemoths. As such, these oil rigs are owned and operated by the subcontractor X Ron Stationery LLC. This limits all monetarily significant litigations related to Fixit Incorporated Petroleum products to the value of X-Run Stationary LLC. 
Xron Stationery LLC is 100% replaceable in a matter of minutes which makes its value zero and therefore all monetary litigations related to Fixit Incorporated Petroleum products cannot exceed the valuation of zero monetary units. Next, we will incorporate the standard array of safety systems necessary to pass an inspection from the Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration. This includes a variety of completely unnecessary precautions like railings to prevent unexpected gravitational descent, automatic overhead lighting, and safety shielding to prevent unintentional contact with surfaces at temperatures greater than 59.9 degrees Celsius. Important Training Break the Fixit employee contract mandates that all employees must avoid contact with surfaces capable of causing thermal burns, such as surfaces with a temperature greater than 59.9 degrees Celsius. This concludes the Fixit Incorporated Thermal Hazard Training. Because these facilities include multiple types of fluids, we will be required to adhere to the dictates of the Terran United States American Society of Mechanical Engineers Fluid Pipe Labeling System ASME, A13. This standard requires that combustible fluids, such as crude oil or heavy oil residue, be transported in brown pipes with white lettered labels. Water shall be transported in green pipes with white lettering. And flammable materials, such as fuel, shall be transported in yellow pipes with black lettering. Such labeling is redundant for Fixit Incorporated structures because our organization and product performance is perfect but our legal consultation team concluded that it would be more efficient to comply with these requirements than to provide documentation of why such precautions are unnecessary which would risk our designs being leaked to our objectively inferior competition. A crane has been installed to move resources to and from cargo barges that will bring the rubber or plastic to the shore for distribution. But the packaged fuel can be delivered via drone anywhere in the world for convenient supply to local truck networks. However, the throughput of drone transportation is low so up to 10 drone ports may be required to transport the 1,200 packaged fuel canisters per minute that this facility can produce. To export the rubber and plastic, cargo ships have been developed which can transport up to 76,800 rubber or plastic per trip. Because Fixit employees will be expected to work on these oil rigs for days on end without breaks, food is prepared on site to maximize available working time. Now that these systems have been designed, they can be implemented into this Pioneer's project assembly goals. To reach this Pioneer's production goals, 7,357 rubber and 2,688 plastic is needed per minute. This can be accomplished with five rubber rigs and two plastic rigs which will be transported via four cargo ships to the coastal regions of Massage 2, A, B, B. All of the plastic and 4,134 rubber per minute will be used in production of circuit boards, computers, and supercomputers which will be discussed at a later time. The rest of the rubber will be used to produce crystal oscillators, versatile frameworks, and modular engines which will also be discussed at another time. Now that the designs are complete, let's take a moment to appreciate what these systems look like at maximum graphical simulation.
Thank you for watching. And remember, be effective, be efficient. It's up to you to save the day.